I often see developers using this operator excessively, but there is a dangerous misconception. It doesn't actually prevent errors, it hides them. The null conditional operator, also known as the safe navigation operator, is supported in many languages like C Sharp, Kotlin, Dart, and even JavaScript. It allows safe access to members by only calling them if the object is not null. In a chain of null conditional operators, the navigation stops at the first null. At first glance, using this operator seems very convenient and even safe. However, if not used carefully, it can harm maintainability. If this code had been written using traditional if-then statements, we would probably start asking ourselves questions like, what is the intent of the author of writing such safe code? Can these properties really be null for a valid reason? Or does such code simply indicate uncertainty about how it should work? Suppose this code is part of a simple method. In this case we need to question, is it actually valid to pass a null document to this method? Or is it an error that should be caught as early as possible? If null is valid, we should consider adding a comment explaining why. If it's an error, we should rather use design by contract to fail fast. For the other usages of the null conditional operator in this code, we need to consider, is returning null from a domain object property valid? Or does it indicate that the object is in an invalid state? Hopefully the API documentation will clarify whether nulls are to be expected. A better approach would be to design a domain model that doesn't accept null values at all and instead use an option type to express explicitly where the absence of any value is valid. In this example, the null conditional operator is used during object creation. But when we check the rest of the class, we see that the other methods cannot actually deal with null. So if the createDocument method returns null, this would clearly be an error condition for this class. If the createDocument method uses new to instantiate the document, we could safely remove the null conditional operator. However, if the createDocument method uses a factory that might return null for some reason, we should use contract ensures not null to enforce a fail fast policy. After that, we can safely remove the null conditional operator from the constructor, making the code clearer and easier to reason about. Now you might be wondering, does this mean we should never use the null conditional operator in clean code? No, this language feature definitely has its place, but we need to use it thoughtfully. Don't apply the null conditional operator just in case. Consider adding a comment to explain why accepting null is valid. When in doubt, use the design by contract pattern and fail fast to catch errors early. And it's so easy to apply design by contract that there is hardly any excuse for skipping it.